Welcome back to High Seas Respite. I'm your host, Beverly Nance, and today in our fourth episode titled Navigating New Waters, we continue the voyage of Kathy and Nicole, sisters separated by seas, yet connected by their shared experiences of caregiving and self-discovery. As Nicole becomes more adept at managing her caregiving responsibilities, Kathy seeks to redefine what it looks like outside of her caregiving identity. It's early morning at Paula's home. Today marks the fifth day of Nicole's caregiving journey. As the morning sun sets a warm glow through the kitchen window, Nicole moves with her newfound ease. The once daunting tasks have become familiar, and with each day her confidence grows. Today she's not just following routines. She's improvising, adding her own touch to breakfast she's preparing for Paula. But it's not just the tasks that have changed. It's Nicole. She's learning the subtle language of care, the unspoken needs of her mother, and the deep satisfaction that comes from knowing she's making a difference. Mom, remember the blueberry pancakes you used to make when I was a kid? I think I've finally gotten close to your recipe. Oh, I remember, dear. You always had that sweet tooth. It's lovely to see you in the kitchen. It really warms my heart as they sit down to enjoy their breakfast. The conversation flows easily. Plans for the day are laid with anticipation, and Nicole appreciates the moments of normalcy and shared joy. The task of caregiving, once daunting, now weaves seamlessly into the fabric of their daily lives. Each day, building on the last, creating a new tapestry of care and mutual respect. As the last bites of breakfast are savored and the morning stretches on, Nicole broaches a new idea for today's outing, one that carries a deeper emotional weight, but also an opportunity for shared reflection and remembrance. Mom, I was thinking maybe after we spend some time in the garden, we could go visit Dad at the cemetery. It's been a while since we've been there, and it might be nice to bring some fresh flowers for him. What do you think? That sounds very thoughtful, dear. Yes, I think... That would be very lovely. It's been a long time since we've paid a visit, and I do miss him terribly. Nicole nods, understanding the significance of the visit, not just for her mother, but for herself as well. Paula's husband and the father they both miss dearly has always been a silent presence in their lives, his memory a guiding light. Decision made, they agree to make a day of it. First the garden, then the cemetery. As they gather their gardening tools, Nicole also grabs a basket, planning to pick the most vibrant flowers from their morning laborer to bring them as a tribute. The drive to the cemetery is quiet, both lost in their own thoughts. Paula looks out the window, memories of years past playing like a silent film in her mind. Nicole glances over occasionally, offering a smile, a simple gesture of support, and shared sentiment. Upon arriving, they tread the familiar paths lined with markers and memories, the air heavy, with the scent of grass and stone. Reaching the grave, Nicole carefully arranges the fresh flowers from their garden, a colorful burst among the solemn gray of tombstones. Thank you, Nicole. He would have loved these dahlias. You know, he always had a hand in the garden, too, always fussing over the roses. He did, didn't he? I remember him teaching me how to prune them properly. I guess today is just full of memories, both in the garden and here with him. As they stand together, the boundaries of past and present blur, the flowers a bridge across time, linking them to the man they both loved and lost. Today, amidst the quietude of the cemetery, Nicole and Paula find not just sorrow, but also peace, the kind that comes from knowing that love, like the flowers they bought, endures. And Nicole feels so at peace today because Paula has not called her Kathy even once. (music) 
Meanwhile, miles away on the sparkling blue Caribbean, Kathy sits in a softly lit conference room aboard the serenade of the seas. She's surrounded by others, each on their own journey of self-care, listening intently to the speaker discuss the importance of life balance. The words struck a chord with Kathy, who's always placed others before herself. As she listens, she begins to sketch out what life balance could look like for her, realizing that self-care isn't a departure from caregiving for others, it's a part of it. Remember, finding balance isn't about giving equal time to all things. It's about giving the right time to the right things, including yourself. Kathy starts thinking aloud. Right time to the right things. I need to think about that and what it means for me. As the seminar concludes, Kathy remains seated, absorbing the last of the speaker's words that seem to have been directed precisely at her own heart. The talk on life balance and the crucial role of self-care in sustainable caregiving strikes a chord deep within her, illuminating her recent thoughts and struggles in a new light. Moved by the insights she gained and eager to learn more, Kathy rises from her seat as the crowd begins to thin. With a newfound determination, she makes her way to the front of the room where the speaker is graciously conversing with attendees and signing copies of her book. Hi, I just wanted to say how much your talk resonated with me. I've been a caregiver for a long time, and everything you said about balancing caregiving and self-care is exactly what I needed to hear. Can I get a copy of your book? Of course, and thank you for sharing that with me. It's always heartening to hear when the message finds its way to those who need it most. What's your name? I'm Kathy. I've been taking care of my mother for several years, and it's only recently I've started to realize how important it is to also take care of myself. Your seminar has opened my eyes even further. Kathy, it's a pleasure. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's essential. This book should give you some practical strategies to implement. Keep in touch and let me know how your journey unfolds. With her new book in hand, Kathy thanks the speaker and steps back into the hallway, feeling as though she carries not just a book, about a new chapter of her life. It's a tool that she knows will guide her through the challenging yet rewarding path of caregiving and personal health. As Kathy leaves the seminar room, her steps are light, her mind buzzing with ideas and a renewed sense of purpose. This day aboard the serenade of the seas has given her much more than a break from her responsibilities. It has given her a blueprint for a better, more balanced future. In the last five days, Kathy has had the best sleep of her life, enjoyed exotic cocktails and delicious food in excess, and enjoyed wonderful shore excursions. Kathy feels great. Tonight, she plans to dance until her feet hurt. To all the caregivers out there, navigating the daily challenges of caring for someone you love, your dedication does not go unnoticed. But in the whirlwind of caregiving, who takes care of you? It's time to pause and take a moment for yourself with Take Care, Caring for Yourself While Caring for Others. This book, written with heart and filled with practical advice, is your companion to your caregiving journey. It's designed to empower you, offering strategies to manage stress, handle emotional ups and downs, and maintain your own health and well-being while caring for others. Take Care addresses the unique challenges caregivers face and provides compassionate insights into managing these responsibilities without losing sight of your own needs. It's packed with real-life examples, actionable tips, and motivational stories to inspire you to prioritize your well-being. Whether you're a new caregiver, feeling overwhelmed, or experienced yet seeking balance, Take Care is here to remind you that taking care of yourself is not an act of selflessness. It's necessity. Available now at Amazon in both digital and paperback formats. Get your copy today and start transforming the way you care. Because when you take better care of yourself, you can care for others even better. Take care, caring for yourself while caring for others. Let this book be your guide to finding peace and resilience on your caregiving journey. You're not alone in this. Take a step today towards a healthier, more joyful caregiving experience. Take care of yourself and keep giving the best care to those you love. (music) 
In the last days of her caregiving, Nicole finds a rhythm that feels almost natural. The daunting task that once overwhelmed her now weaves seamlessly into the fabric of daily life. She and Paula have found not just comfort, but joy in their time together. Whether tending to the garden or simply sitting quietly over a cup of tea, sharing stories and laughter. Through this experience, Nicole has learned the profound impact of empathy and patience, not just in caring for Paula, but in understanding the depth of what Kathy has been going through all this time. This realization brings with it a deepened respect for her sister and a commitment to be more present and involved. Kathy stands on the deck of the Serenade of the Seas, watching the shoreline approach as the cruise nears its end. Kathy returns from her voyage not just rested, but reborn. The seminars, the conversations with fellow caregivers, and the quiet moments of introspection have all culminated in a profound shift in how she views her life and her role as a caregiver. She's armed with strategies for self-care, a renewed sense of purpose, and an eagerness to share her insights with Nicole. More than anything, Kathy has learned the importance of granting herself permission to take breaks, to seek support, and to nurture her own well-being alongside that of her mother's. This balance, she realizes, is not just beneficial but essential for her sustained caregiving. As they drive home, Kathy and her friends listen to some quiet music. They promised they weren't going to talk about caregiving the whole time they were gone, but as it turns out, they did have to talk about caregiving. Kathy realizes this week apart has strengthened her bond with her sister, Nicole, imbued them with a new perspective, and equipped them with the tools to tackle the challenges of caregiving together. As they look ahead, the road seems a little less daunting, knowing they have each other's support and understanding. As we conclude this series of High Seas Respite, we leave Kathy and Nicole at the beginning of a new chapter in their lives, and where Care is shared, burdens are lightened, and self-care is not just practiced but cherished. May their story inspire all of us to find our balance and to remember, in the ebb and flow of caregiving, never to neglect the caregiver. Just as the gentle waves of the ocean bought Kathy restored to sleep in peace, our Take Care Time Respite Box aims to bring a wave of relaxation and renewal right to your doorstep. Each box is carefully curated to help caregivers like Kathy, and perhaps like you, find moments of tranquility in their demanding lives. Imagine opening a box with items specifically chosen to enhance your rest and relaxation, from soothing teas and aromatic candles to luxurious bath salts and soft, comforting sleep masks. Each item in our respite box is designed to replicate the calming experience Kathy enjoys experiencing her own sanctuary of peace wherever you are. Whether you're a caregiver needing a pause or someone looking to gift a bit of peace to a loved one who cares for others, the Take Care Time Respite Box is your answer. Just like Kathy finds solace in the rhythmic embrace of the sea, you can find your slice of serenity with each item in our box, ensuring you're not just surviving your days, but you're thriving through them. Visit TakeCareTime.com today and order your respite box. Subscribe now and experience the art of caring for yourself as diligently as you care for others. Because remember, taking care of yourself isn't a luxury. It's essential. Do you have a caregiver story that you would like to have told? Please email us at podcast at takecaretime.com. We would love to hear from you. Before we go, please note, this episode features reenactments and dramatized details. While in most cases the exact verbatim dialogue may not be known, all dramatizations are grounded in research. To respect the privacy and confidentiality of individuals involved, names and some identifying details have been changed. Till next week, take care.